what is going on blessed squad it's your girl chloe as back in the cut with another video and in today's video your girl is going to be doing another no Ugh, crap you guys my mouth is so dry right now i'm trying to drink this um espresso frappuccino i love it it always gives me energy i get like extra shots of espresso i have to get three shots because i'm usually super tired and i love to focus in school so anyway I did not get to come out for my morning coffee this morning because I was just too tired. But good thing that I got enough enough sleep and like a tiny little Red Bull got me through the day. But right now I am actually at Target. I'm about to go um, no budget curly hair product shopping. So I don't know if you guys have noticed but my hair has gotten so much more healthy, so much more full and so much more long. Like it's gotten so much longer. So basically I have been getting into hair care a lot lately. I think maybe for like the past year or maybe a little bit less. I'm pretty sure it might be a little less. I don't know. But I've been getting into hair care a lot and I absolutely have been loving the results of my hair like my hair has been giving me beautiful results from all the work that I've been putting in so with that being said your girl's gonna go ahead and pick up a few different um well actually a lot of different hair care products today curly hair products because you guys know I have curly hair obviously it's wet right now and when it's wet it just looks so thin and just life not lifeless it's it's healthy um but um but yeah we're gonna go into the store today and buy a bunch of new um different hair care products because I have just been using this one curly hair product for my hair when I leave it down down because I love the results that it gives me but today I went ahead and used a the coconut hibiscus shea moisture line I used the spray I used like the curling cream and I used like the gel souffle so I'm gonna go ahead and see how that turns out it makes my hair smell really good honestly like it made my hair smell really good like my hair smells really nice right now but yeah let's go into Target right now I'm trying to sit here and drink this and let and let me like get some energy out of it because I'm really tired right now. I was actually supposed to film this video yesterday like after I got out of school but the amount of schoolwork that I had yesterday was honestly crazy. Okay you guys so I have made it into the curly hair section. I am super excited so I actually came to the Target which is really funny I was just telling you guys I don't really like driving in my city. I actually came to the Target that is in my city and I'm actually really excited because they have a beautiful sale going on and they also have a lot of product. Now as opposed to the Target I've been going to way out they don't really have that much so I'm glad that I decided to come here today because they have a nice sale and they have so many products for people with curly hair so let's get it popping let's just start grabbing stuff sis I'm, i know i'm probably not too loud i'm gonna try to turn the volume up when i'm editing because i don't like being too loud in stores but i am super excited with how much stuff they have so as you guys can see they have all of these shea moisture products buy one get one 50 percent off and i've actually i have these but they're almost gone and i can get them now for buy one get one 50 percent off so it's perfect because these are way bigger than the bottles that i have and they're almost gone so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that these smell so good i also need to try out this curl enhancing smoothie now today i used uh they don't have it actually it was like a curling cream but it wasn't like this i wanted to try this out but i didn't want to spend too much on it the other day but now they have it buy one get one 50 off so this is perfect this holding a shine mist makes your hair smell so good but i'm also going to grab this mousse they have i love mousses especially when i'm having like a ponytail and my hair is dry but i could just like put this through i have already picked up my favorite hair product which is the mayo avocado milk but i love this leave-in conditioner because it makes your hair smell super good and the scent really does last all day like on to the next days so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this as well it looks to me like i'm gonna be grabbing a whole lot of shea moisture today because of the sale but they have this deep treatment mask that i've never seen before so i'm gonna grab that as well i love putting masks in my hair oh they have a coconut and hibiscus mask wow i love the coconut and hibiscus i have the bar soap the body wash the body scrub like everything by the coconut and hibiscus line i've also been wanting to try out the carol's daughter goddess strength and they're so huge and they're 10.99 i'm gonna go ahead and grab these i love carol's daughter seriously it's really good for uh, curly hair i actually have been using using this almond milk um, leave-in conditioner every single day first of all make sure your hair smells so good your curls are super defined and it just works amazing so i love that Ooh, mayo has a rosemary mint strengthening hair mask i'm so excited you guys i'm finding such cool products i have never tried this emerge brand but i want to see what they're about so let me see what they have this is a buttercream for your hair and this is a back to life hair mask wow i'm gonna grab both that is so cool i've never tried it and i love trying brands for my hair that i've never tried Ooh, stop the damage pre or post poo mask so you can put this in your hair before you wash it okay so one thing with curly hair is when it gets done drying sometimes you see that you didn't put enough product in so your hair gets frizzy and your curls are like frizzy at the top or if you just been throughout the whole day and you've been outside it's been windy or your hair has been rubbing up against stuff your hair gets frizzy so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this Carol's Daughter black vanilla hair sheen because you can just spray it in your hair and it will make your hair non frizzy and it'll also um, make your hair shiny and I'm pretty sure it smells nice because I have the black vanilla line so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up it's 
a really good idea for curly hair. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually back at home. I'm about to go ahead and show you guys everything I got. I also got some clothing. I'm going to go ahead and try it on for you guys. But I cleaned off that space in my recent video and then I had got my bed done but it was off camera um and look at it's all back to what it was because I have a bunch of laundry on my bed I have a bunch of notebooks pens highlighters from school I have some clean pillowcases back there that are just stacked on top then the products that I've been using um since I filmed that video once again school is just like focus 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 go hard go hard go hard on school all day so I never really have time to or I never really feel like cleaning up like last time last night I didn't get done with my schoolwork till like six o'clock at night because I took like a 30 minute nap because I was so tired and then I woke up and I hopped right on my schoolwork so I'm about to go ahead and clean up all this little space I don't know if you guys can see but it is really a mess I'm about to go ahead and clear off this bed and then I'm gonna go ahead and get back to you guys with showing you guys everything but I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up this clip because I gotta get this done and I hope that you guys enjoy watching me do this because I'm actually embarrassed that my stuff looks like this but I know that it will motivate you guys and that's the only reason why I'm doing it curl stretch pudding by Shea Moisture. I'm super excited about it because I've been needing my curls to be stretched. We all know shrinkage is a beast, especially if you have super coily curls. Oh my gosh, shrinkage is terrible. So this right here is for shrinkage. Now my curls do stretch really nice, but shrinkage is a beast. Once again, my hair is much longer than this. Uh, but I went ahead and picked that up. I've been loving Shea Moisture. You guys already knew that I picked up the Goddess Strength, the uh, Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength um, Fortifying Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm not the biggest fan of the name or the word Goddess. I just, I don't like it. Like when people call me that, I'm just like, excuse no. No. And it's for weak breakage prone hair. I do not have weak hair or breakage on my hair, but I love using stuff like this because it still benefits your hair even if it's not. Like it'll benefit it even more because your hair is already healthy. But if you do have unhealthy hair, make sure that you're really like oiling up your hair, doing treatments, all kinds of stuff. I really suggest it. And cut off that dead hair. Like I got to a point where my hair was really, really long in like sixth or seventh grade, seventh grade. I had always had long hair my whole entire life. I had never had short hair, never. Like my hair was always really, really long growing up all the way down here like really long and it got to the point where when I had started doing my hair I was just ripping at it wasn't really doing much with it just leaving it dry and my curl like my hair was just not really curly anymore it was just like really wavy not saying that I really had curls growing up because I really didn't but it just didn't look good and I wanted my hair to be curly so I cut it like up to here I got my hair cut my mom's a cosmetologist so she did that and my curls were popping every single time that I cut my hair my hair got curlier and curlier so um, I really suggest that. Now, I did a mask in my hair. It was the yogurt one, like, by this line right here. The Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt. Um, the Hydrate and Repair Mask I did in my hair today. So, that's also probably why it's looking really moisturized. And I really, really, really love that mask. I always use it. It's so amazing. I have to have my backups of it because it's amazing. So, I went ahead and got the shampoo and conditioners to match it. These were not on sale. These did not have a 50% off sale. Like, a buy one, get one 50% off. And I'm pretty sure it's because these are probably so much more amazing. You guys already knew that I picked up this deep treatment mask by 
Shea Moisture, the raw shea butter deep treatment mask. Super excited for dry damaged hair. Then I got this curl and shine hair mask. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. I love the coconut and hibiscus line. Their body wash is amazing. Like everything is amazing by it. Except for like the bar soap. It doesn't really smell that strong. And then you guys already knew that I picked up the curl mousse because I love using mousses. I really suggest using mousses if you're doing like a ponytail and your hair is frizzy in the back. Go ahead and get whatever mousse you have and put it all through those curls. Detangle it because mousse really helps you detangle your hair. And then your hair will be defined, smelling good, and looking great. I love mousse for that reason. Like, I love it so much. Or if I want to just go ahead and refresh my curls the next day. I also seen this on somebody's YouTube channel, this Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. Um, and I heard that it works really good for curly hair, like mixed girls or African American girls. Like, you guys already know, uh, our beautiful curls, we got to keep a popping. So, I got the Wash Day Delight um, Love at First Wash Water to Foam Shampoo. Super excited. But I'm a little bit nervous because I don't really like things that are like watery for shampoo. Like I've had, like I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous, but I heard that it works really good, so I might as well be coming out of my comfort zone with certain stuff. I also went ahead and picked up my favorite um, hair moisturizer. It is the Mayo Avocado Moisturizing Hair Milk. If you guys ever see my hair down, you guys are wondering what did I use in my hair. It is most likely that. Not most likely, but it is. It is that. It is that. I always use that. I've said it a million times. You guys keep asking me though. But that is what it is. You guys already knew that I picked up the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. I love these scents and I really love the shampoo and conditioner. I have some in my hygiene closet right now. But I was going through them so fast. I just went, I went ahead and put them back in there so that I could save them. Uh, but now I don't have to do that because I just got some new ones. And they're almost gone. So, yeah. You guys, I am super big on trying to find products that... I can use the day after I had my hair done to refresh my curls but not make them look like too moisturized if that makes sense because if my hair is too moisturized it'll be weighed down kind of like how it is right now but I do like this look but like not too much like if I would have them too moisturized if you know what I mean so I'm gonna go ahead and try out this hair milk this curl refresher spray for curls coils kinks and waves um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it on my hair and maybe put like a like a little bit of cream or like a little bit of foam and see how that not foam but mousse in my hair and see how that works um this smells so nice I'm literally down to the last drop I usually use it in my ponytails but I'm about to try it when I leave my hair down I've never really given it a chance for that but it is the pomegranate and honey my L leave-in conditioner it smells so nice it kind of smells like candy like I don't know but it smells really sweet and beautiful in here you guys know so the so the shampoo and conditioner that I use today is the Kristen S is by the Kristen S curl line sorry all the lighting is changing is changing a little bit but I picked up the repair mask because I have everything by that line except for this because I recently came out with it um you guys already knew that i picked up two emerge products i picked up the back to life hair mask to bring your hair back to life baby if your hair has been dry and you ain't been really taking care of it then i picked up the buttercream for curls for curl definition and softness so yeah those are the two emerge products that i went ahead and picked up girl i am all out of my minced garlic so i had to go ahead and pick up some minced garlic because baby i'm all out and i love my minced garlic i don't like mincing garlic myself i used to do that all the time but i'm just i don't be feeling like doing all of that i picked up a uh, mayo rosemary mint strengthening hair mask super excited you guys i always use masks on my hair um i make sure not to do stuff like protein masks too much like that's not really good for your hair to be doing that too much um so i make sure that i get, just get masks that are like moisturizing and everything this is infused with biotin biotin really promotes hair growth see infused with biotin and encourages growth i'm telling you biotin is amazing um then i picked up the curl enhancing smoothie i've never tried this but i really have been wanting to try it i picked up this jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore treatment mask by shea moisture i love their hair mask they have my favorite hair masks ever um I feel like every single time that I say hair masks, I have to go like that. I picked up this Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Shine Enhancing Hair Sheen. I already spoke to you guys about why this is going to be amazing for my hair. And here, I actually have this super, super cute sweater. I need to try this stuff on for you guys. But I'm about to go ahead and try that on for you guys later. Um, I don't really feel like it, but I'm going to do it for you guys because I want you guys to see how this stuff looks. And then the last product I believe that I got for my hair was this As I Am Classic Leave-In Conditioner. I have the co-wash. It is so thick and it really does make your hair smell good and it really does make your hair feel clean but not over drying it because it's a co-wash and it's so nice and a little bit goes a long way. So I have been loving the I, As I Am co-wash so I'm about to go ahead and try out the leave-in conditioner. So I got this dress and I honestly shouldn't have got it because it's getting cold and this is kind of like something that I would wear in the summertime because I don't really want my legs out when it's cold but I'm going to figure out how to wear it. I don't waste money baby. I don't do that. 
but also because it was only $15 I got this super cute dress it has like a little flower on it okay so I hope that you guys can see it right but it is so cute don't you guys think this is adorable with my hair done and everything okay I'm gonna bring you guys up a little bit look how cute this dang dress is I feel like it is so adorable it is so cute I do feel like it is a little bit short but it's not gonna be too bad I've kind of been teaching myself like if it doesn't look raunchy you're okay on to the next outfit okay now this outfit right here I kind of have mixed emotions about because I feel like if I'm gonna have this baggy sweatshirt I need baggier pants I'm not really sure if they're doing returns right now though um and then I feel like if I if I'm gonna keep these pants then I need a tinier shirt because I just don't like this look I just feel like they need to be like baggier and I know that this is how it's supposed to look because this is a small and this is a small but I just like things to be fully baggy if I'm going for the full baggy look all right you guys so here is the third outfit it's really 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 cute it's getting a little chilly outside so this is gonna be perfect these last two outfits are really cute um, and perfect for the cold weather. I think it's really, really, really cute. All right, and here is the sweater. It's gonna be so cute with jeans, high-waisted jeans that come up really nicely. I really, honestly, love it. I'm not the biggest fan of sweater material on my skin though, so it is kind of bothering me a little bit. But I do really like it. I like the way it fits. I think it's gonna be super cute, and I personally like it. I feel like it's a little bit different. And you know, I could end up wearing it with like some really cool sweatpants. You never know what I'm gonna do with it. But I think it's really cute. You guys, look how long my hair has gotten, and this is with it being curly okay but yeah i really do like this sweatshirt i think it's really cute okay now the last thing that i'm gonna go ahead and warn you guys about right now is what's going on is dial the, the brand dial for bar soaps hand washes body washes they have recently changed their formula so i thought i was tripping i have broken out in a really bad rash on my chest right now like i don't want to show too much but like oh my gosh it is so bad i have been dealing with this for the past couple days when it first started to happen was my recent video i had noticed that my chest was starting to break out a little bit i haven't really had too many breakouts but it was like a weird looking breakout it wasn't my typical breakout it's taking a lot of courage for me to even show you guys the rash right now because i'm kind of embarrassed about it but it's honestly just me trying to bring awareness to the situation please do not use any dial products right now do not use their bar soap do not use their body wash do not use their hand soaps i went ahead and did my research today i went on their website and i looked at the reviews and when i tell you there were hundreds and hundreds of reviews about this rash they have showed the rash they have pictures of it you can go ahead and look it up like dial causing um rash and you can go on their website and it'll show all these reviews people have been breaking out in welts people have been breaking out in like huge bumps like if i were to continue to use it because i was using it every single day for about a week the bar soap um but it's been happening with people's hands from the from the hand soap people's body from the bar soap and the um like the body wash and the bar soap and it's been happening so much they have changed their formula and it is really 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 bad i have been a huge fan of dial for years now and they have failed me but before i go ahead and head out of here i wanted to go ahead and share some scripture with you guys because i actually did my bible study this morning instead of tonight i usually do it at night time before i go to bed but today i had some time in the morning time so i went ahead and did some bible study i'm currently rereading proverbs i read proverbs like five times already but i love it it's one of my favorite scriptures so i'm gonna go ahead and reread it i have like four different bookmarks in my bible right now and they're all just falling out um but proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 through 9 how does a man become wise the first step is to trust and reverence the Lord. If you want wisdom, I'm going to tell you this right now. Wisdom comes from the Lord. A lot of people are always surprised that I'm 17. Um, a lot of people, like when I tell them when I'm out in public, or even when I was moving in here, the lady that was showing us around, she was like, okay, so talking about the lease and everything. And I was like, I'm only 16. At the time, I was only 16. And she was like, oh, I'm okay excuse that then um we'll scratch that out um they can never ever tell like i've been told they think i'm 25 or i'm 21 and it is because of how wise i have gotten over the years from reading my bible and having a relationship with the lord jesus christ i did not used to be this way you can see me from when i first started my youtube channel i was not this way i spoke different i looked different like everything about me is not the same then when I first started my YouTube channel, I am not the same person. Only fools refuse to be taught. Listen to your father and mother. What you learn from them will stand you in good stead. It will gain you many honors. Another thing, I hang out with my mom. My mom is my only friend. So I hang out with my mom a lot. My mom is very, very, very wise. You have to watch who you're hanging around. Because if you're hanging around people that are just rebels and they're, you know, you get what I'm saying? You're going to act like them. Who you're around is who you're going to act like. And then Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 through nine for the lord grants wisdom 
Every word is a treasure of his of knowledge and understanding. He grants good sense to the godly, his saints. He is their shield, protecting them and guarding their pathway. He shows how to distinguish right from wrong, how to find the right decision every time. And then chapter 3, verse 11 through 12. Young man, women as well. Do not resent it when God chastens and corrects you, for his punishment is proof of his love. Just as a father punishes a son he delights in to make him better, so the Lord corrects you. Chapter 3, verse 33 through 35. The curse of God is on the wicked, but his blessing is on the upright. The Lord mocks at mockers, but helps the humble. The wise are promoted to honor, but fools are promoted to shame. So if you are looking to become wise and you want to know more and you want to figure out how to become mature, I really suggest reading that Bible. That's the only way um, that I have gotten to where I am. Um, yes, I work very hard in school, um, but real knowledge and real education comes from the Bible. Somebody can have their master's degree and they can be tell you how to and they can tell you how to go through life. Somebody that doesn't read the Bible and has their master's, master's degree. And then you could have somebody that reads their Bible and studies their Bible all the time. The advice they're going to give you, as opposed to the person that has gone to college for so many different years, is going to go way farther and is going to help you way more. But I'm going to go ahead and head up out of here. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And it's time for me to go.